In this video, we're going to learn how to prepare the Rhino file um, so that we can uh, start rendering some of the ideas you have generated uh, with Lumion and then uh, use LiveSync Lumion uh, to be able to view real-time um, changes that you might be making in Rhino um, as your rendering outcome in Lumion. So, um, before we do that, since some of you might not have um, fast enough computers, uh, we will just uh, try to focus on a small area for the rendering um, assignment. So let's go to the Select tab here and uh, choose this lasso point here. We talked about selection by window, dragging from the left to the right to select everything and dragging from the right to the left to select whatever will be along the path. Um, so in this case, because we have kind of a funky shape and uh, we want to bypass some random object that we might cross with a square or rectangle box. So let's use the lasso point to create a custom uh, polygon for selection. So we'll click on that, uh, left click, and then um, you can just kind of carefully place these lasso points to, to create this custom polygon right here that will only have everything you want to render inside. And then when you're done, just right click, hit the space bar or hit enter. Okay, so now it looks like I pretty much have everything selected, but I'm not quite sure why this green um, Pass here is not selected, so you can uh, hold the shift key down and then just make sure that you click on whatever um, was left down in the process. So now we're going to um, go to File, Export Selected, um, and then just save it as Topic 6 and then say Save. Okay, now let's open topic six. Okay, so we can see how pretty much everything you selected um, is, is now in this new file. Um, so the other thing we want to do is to check for any multiple copies and make sure that we only have one copy and and, and uh, this can be done by just clicking on the object um, okay and if you click on an object and go to the property uh, window, you'll see how it tells you what kind of object it is. So in this case, it's a block. Um, so what we want to do is to explode. So it's exploded into many, many objects. And uh, you can see how old embedded within this object, there are multiple copies of these curves. And what we're trying to do is to create closed curves um, as polygons. So um, one thing we can do is to um, turn off whatever is in the way. And we haven't talked about uh, layer very much. So um, this is the time when, when we work on layers. So right here, Pretty much everything we've been working on um, has been on the path image layer. And we'll talk about how to prepare the layer um, so that we can do rendering with Lumia. So in this case, we want to double check on the roads layer. And then we want to um, turn off the path image layer. So this way we can select everything. And then we're just going to type in join and then hit space bar or enter. So it's telling us that they just created four closed curves from all those multiple copies of smaller curves. 
So when you click on one of them, you can see how you can now select it and delete it. So you just delete the multiple copy and select the other one and delete it. So now we only have one copy each. Um, and then each one of them is a closed curve. We can double check again with the uh, property menu. So now you can see how uh, they're both closed curve. The next thing we can do is to um, create surfaces uh, so that we can apply color and textures on those surfaces. So um, we can select these two closed curves and type in patch and hit OK. And because ten, creating 10 control points uh, for each direction probably would not be enough for such an intricate shape between these two closed curves. So what we can do is to create one surface, and then we'll be able to click on the surface and say split. Click on the other curve as the cutting object. So I just selected the other curve. Now we can right click, hit the space bar or enter. Uh, now you can see how we just uh, created this surface between the two closed curves. And then we can delete what's in the middle or uh, use it for creating more intricate shapes. And we'll talk about that in the next video.